So I finished up the uh, fuselage and I'm prepared for the uh, stand. All right, working this seam and uh, first I scraped then I sanded and now I've um, I touched a very little bit of super glue in there and then put this uh, extremely thin tape on either side and then buffed it so I had to take it all the way down. Um, but I tried to save the raised detail on either side so that I could then scribe it across. And again, as I said in a previous video, that's really the only way to do it. Uh, so the bottom there is filled in with some super glue and uh, I'll take the same approach there. So on the top here, I have uh, basically a blank slate. Um, I tried to save on the either side of it as much of that detail as possible. Um, and then I used some super glue in the middle, but I think I've got it pretty smooth. And I'm going to rescribe all of that missing detail uh, and just do a combination of raised and uh, scribed and see how it comes out. I, I'm not really going to weather it. Um, it's going to be, you know, this blue and shiny um, without any panel line wash or anything, at least not on the blue part. I think I can get away with it. So now I just have to get the bottom to the same spot. Um, so it looks ugly now, but it'll eventually look like that. And then, like I said, I'm just going to rescribe everything uh, based on this. Okay, so um, you know, I have this pretty smooth now. Here and there, it still might need a little more work, but I can do that as I um, go along. Uh, but what I'm going to have to do is rescribe a lot of this detail um, and kind of bring the raised detail across um, this gap with uh, recess detail and then back to the raised and detail. Basically from here over is all still there. Um, and even here, I mean, I'm as close as that. Um, so it's just between that distance. And then here it widens a little bit. Um, but, you know, that's that narrow corridor, so to speak, that I have to fill in. And then the same thing on the bottom here, uh, basically between there. And I can still, you probably can't see it on camera, but I can still see a hint of what's supposed to be there um, below where I had uh, filled in with super glue or, or, you know, buffed out or what have you. I have all my various scribing tools. So in here, I actually want to stay very faint. These um, Holly scribers, faint, you know, they're my thinnest one. Um, and they leave a really nice faint uh, uh, recessed panel line. Yeah. And then I have all my various templates here for whatever kind of shape or line I'm going to need. Uh, so now I'm going to get into it. All right, I think I have that top where I want it. And you can still see that line down the middle, but it's smooth. Hopefully, I guess I'll find out when I prime it, but I've replaced all the lines as per this as best I could. And again, it's only in that area basically between these two lines here. Um, so now I'll start on the bottom, see if I can't get it to the same point. And then I'll finally attach that nose. And, and get So I just worked my way along the bottom, taping the templates to the bottom and then scribing it. And then I came back with my light sanding and buffing sticks and then did some work around that pilot in the cockpit. And then finally, once I had the bottom the way I wanted it, put that nose on and then did some test fitting with the canopy. Okay, now with the nose on, I've uh, put those wings on. I'm letting those dry. I used uh, super glue in the center and then uh, touched the ultra thin after they were in there. And also I uh, masked the cockpit uh, so I'll be able to hit all of this with the uh, Mr. Surfacer. Uh, then I'll just come back and just hit those surfaces that are uh, going to be metallic um, with the Alclad base and then see how that works. And I've put those back wings on as well as um, this is a like a runner that comes up. Uh, these pieces here, I cut that 
piece off so it sits down flat in there. And then that tail hook required a little sanding and trimming to get it to fit snugly in there as well. And then there's a little uh, winglet that, that goes right there. Um, I'm going to leave the exhaust off as um, it's going to be difficult to tape around there. This is going to be all metallic on the inside and the outside. So I'm going to do that separately and then attach it uh, just because the masking will be too difficult. Uh, if it was on as well as, then that allows me to put a stick up inside there to hold that while I paint this whole thing. Now I want to get underneath there before I put the uh, canopy on. Okay, um, by the way, this is that new jig I bought. Um, I think I did a supplies haul a couple of videos ago, but yeah, it's the first time I'm using it and it works pretty good. Um, so I'm using it to hold that while I test fit that canopy uh, and make sure I painted underneath it well. And yeah, I have to say on this Hasegawa kit, everything's fitting pretty well. If you see there, I try to get those lines to match up. Um, and I had to kind of, I don't know if you can tell there, split the difference a little bit. Um, they're not exactly on, but they're pretty close. Um, I think that nose is ever so slightly warped, but there isn't a whole heck of a lot I can do about it. Um, but like I said, for the most part, everything's fitting pretty well. So now I'm satisfied with that canopy. I'm going to mask that. Um, and then uh, attach that. Okay, I've got that canopy masked and glued in place and uh, used the ultra thin on that. So, you know, hopefully it'll kind of melt together. So I'm gonna let that set up overnight um, and then clean everything up and start priming. So I think that'll do it for this video basically paint decals uh, and those stands after this. So until then, thanks for watching and happy modeling.